Hey everyone! So it's almost Easter, so we decided we're going to make an Easter themed treat for the dogs. So we are going to make uh, a version of Marshmallow Peeps for the dogs. So here we go! All right, so what we're gonna need is plain unflavored gelatin, one cup of water, which we're going to uh, split in half, use a half a cup uh, in one place and a half a cup in another, you'll see when we mix it. One cup of honey, uh, vanilla extract, coconut flour, which is gonna be used for uh, dusting the treats when they're done and we are going to use a little bit of the juice from these beets for coloring um, we don't like to use food coloring so we use other alternatives natural alternatives and usually with for red we use beet juice so we're gonna add a little bit of beet juice to make them a little pinkish or you know maybe We'll see, maybe a little darker, but <clears throat> to give it a little color. And we have this silicone bunny mold that we're going to use for our treats. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take three tablespoons of the unflavored gelatin and a half a cup of water. And we're just going to mix that together and then that's going to sit while we prepare the other portion of our recipe. You gonna help? Hmm? You gonna help? He's smelling? It's just plain gelatin. Alright, so that's basically what it's gonna look like. We're just gonna mix this and it's gonna sit while we do the rest. So now we're going to move over to the stove so we can heat up our other ingredients. Alright, so we have our one cup of honey, half a cup of water, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract in our pan. And we're going to bring this up to 260 degrees. We're going to stir it often so it doesn't burn but we also don't want it to boil over, so we gotta bring this up slowly to 260 degrees. All right, so I gotta make a correction. It's 240 degrees, not 260 degrees. You need to get it up to. So we're just about there. So now once you get it up to 240 degrees, we're then gonna add this mixture to our mixing bowl that has our gelatin mixture in it. And then we're going to mix the two together and make our fluffy marshmallow goodness. All right, so now we have our um, honey mixture and our gelatin mixture in the bowl. So we're gonna put on our whisk attachment. We're gonna start off slow mixing it, start getting it mixed together, and then we're gonna gradually increase the speed. This is going to uh, whisk for about 10 minutes and it's going to make it into a fluffy marshmallow treat. <laughs> so, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so we've been mixing for about five minutes. And we're starting to get fluffy here, so now we're going to add some coloring to it. Uh, like I said, we don't like to use food coloring, so we're going to put some beet juice in there to give it a little color, make it red. I'm going to start out with a half a teaspoon. I'm not quite sure how much to put in for color, but we'll start out with a half a teaspoon and see what kind of color that gives us. We may have to add a little bit more, but we just want to give it a little bit of a color, like a peep. We're going to add 
another half a teaspoon. Gave it a little bit of color, but not a lot. I'm gonna do another half. All right, so our mixture's been going for about 10 minutes. Look at that. So, now, yeah. you want to, huh? What are you doing? We're going to take this, and we're going to put it into a pastry bag, and then we're going to put it into our mold, and there's going to be plenty left over, so we're going to put the rest of it into a small pan and let it sit. Come here, buddy. You want to try some marshmallowy stuff? Is that good? Wait a minute. You want to try some Bailey? Oh, you got it on your nose. No? Okay. Yeah. You keep getting it on your nose. Good girl. You want to try some, Abby? Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Okay, so now we're going to put our mixture into our pastry bag, like I said, and then we're going to fill our mold. All right, so we have our mold filled. We took the leftover and we put it in our uh, pan. Um, it's not exactly uh, pretty looking. But we'll let it set and we'll cut it up. So these are gonna sit for about four hours. So they completely sit, set, excuse me, set. Uh, all right, so our peeps sat for about four to five hours, about well, four and a half hours. Um, so now they're still a little tacky. So when you first take them out, they're still going to be a little tacky. Um, one thing I forgot to mention when we were putting them in the mold is spray them with cooking spray first because it makes it easier to take them out. So now since they're a little tacky, what we're going to do, this is where the coconut flour comes in. We're going to roll them in some coconut flour coat them in coconut flour so they won't be so sticky and it kind of makes it look like and feel like a peep just like that now let's do the rest of these all right so now we have our peeps coated in coconut flour so now we're going to get the dogs together and let them taste test them this time we're gonna take them out on the patio because we don't want them taking them on the furniture because they're sticky and gooey. So let's head out back and let them taste test. You ready? You wanna go try a peep? Hmm? Yeah? Let's go. All right, who's gonna be the first to try? Want to try a marshmallowy peep? Nico, you ready? <laughs> Oh, did you even taste it? <laughs> you chewed it more when we gave you a little sample. Was that good? Yeah? Was it marshmallowy? All right, Bailey, you ready? Good girl. Is it chewy, gooey, marshmallowy? Yeah. Was that good? Yeah? Is that like the best Easter treat you had? Ever had? <laughs> Abby, you ready? You're actually gonna eat. Oh, she took it. She's eating it. Was that good? Was that good? Run is frozen. She doesn't want to move. <laughs> Those ears have you frozen. You ready? Okay. <laughs> Is it? Whoop! Oh, gone. I thought you were gonna spit it out. Was that good? 
Was that nice and marshmallowy? Hmm? You know, can't give it too much. You want to have some again later. Can't have too much now. So, remember, as with any other treat, uh, this is not a meal replacement, so give them treats in moderation. You can have more later. You cannot have too much in one time. Okay? Was that good, guys? Did you like those? Hmm? Alright. So, that's our Easter marshmallow peeps for the dogs. They all like them. So, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to get notifications. Remember, adopt, don't shop. Support your local rescues. Spay and neuter your pets. And always think positive. <laughs> Till next time. At least get some of this. <laughs> nice. Maybe I will leave it in. Nice, Nico. Nice sound effect. Can always count on you for a blooper reel. <laughs>